Hey guys, welcome to the channel. First things first, I'm gonna let you guys know that I'm gonna do a voiceover for the exterior walk around of this truck because it was extremely windy outside. So if my hands are moving around and they're not correlating to what I'm saying, that's why. But anyway, this is a 2021 Ford F-150 uh, Lariat 501A in iconic silver. Uh, this one has the chrome appearance package. And the way this Lariat is spec'd, it makes me wonder if this truck has everything you need as far as luxury and technology features and nothing extra. But anyway, looking at the headlights, they are LED reflectors. You have LED uh, accent lighting, LED fog lights, and standard bulbs for the turn signals. And then coming to the side here, looking at these wheels, this is actually an upgrade. It's a 20 inch upgraded wheel option. And this one has the FX4 package, so you have a little bit more aggressive rubber there. Looking at the side over there, you can see the Power Boost badge that I zoomed in on earlier. And then you have your Lariat badge over there and chrome mirror caps. Chrome door handles with smart key access on the driver and passenger door. This one is the FX4 package. Power sliding rear window, LED third brake light with a camera for the bed. All LED tail lights, turn signal, brake light, and reverse light. And then you have LED surrounds. Parking sensors along the back with the chrome bumper. LED light and backup camera. And you also get LED license plate lights as well. And real quick, I just want to show you guys the bed here. You get LED box lighting. Since this one, since this one is a power boost, you get that nice, uh, strong outlet. I'm not sure how many volts. Let's take a look. It says 120. So 120 volt outlet right there. And this one does have the power tailgate. So you can see it opens automatically like that. This one does have the tailgate step as well, as well as the work surface. And then you just pull it like this and then it should take it the rest of the way. It must not be on right now, but I promise it will take it the rest of the way normally. Window stickers in the window. I'll show you guys a quick little picture of that. All right, guys, looking at the engine here, it does have hood struts and a hood liner. Uh, this one has a 3.5 liter power boost engine, which has 430 horsepower and 570 pound-feet of torque, and it gets uh, 24 MPG at all times. The thing I really like on Ford trucks that you do get this little keypad, at least on this trim level, so that's nice. But anyway, let's open this up. Soft touch up here, soft touch right here. Nice little uh, like wood grain style look right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you do get automatic up down for the front two windows and just power for the back two windows. You do get power folding mirrors, memory seats. And then looking over here, this one does not have a power steering column because it's a 501A. But you do get your uh, power tailgate right there and then your two mirror spotlights, your light controlled power pedals, inway power driver and passenger seat. Very nice soft leather, but let's hop inside. All right guys, we're finally inside. It's so windy out there, it's really annoying. I hope the audio wasn't too bad. But I just pressed the button and nothing happens because it's a hybrid, so it's still on just electric right now. But you can see it does have the full digital gauge cluster, Lariat's and up, get that. You have this nice huge 12 inch display in the middle. You can have it do split screen and then uh, you can go to navigation like that. So have it go on this side and then you can make it bigger by clicking this button. So there you go, you have the full screen now. This is a really nice system and I'll show you guys the camera real quick. There's your camera system, very clear. And since it's so big, it's really easy to see. You have different modes. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when you look at the bed. You can look inside there. Very good high quality cameras as well. And then you can also look on here at like close-ups of different portions of the car. And you have this, this is to uh, turn on your Pro Power on board. But we're gonna uh, turn that back off. There we go, all outlets off. You have your Pro Trailer backup assist on this one. And then you also have four wheel drive with four wheel drive auto and you also have a locking differential. This one, heated cooled seats, no uh, heated steering wheel because you have to get 502A. But you do have a uh, dual zone climate control, so that's really nice. And then here's for all your radio controls. Then you do get a cover on lariats and you have two USBs in there. No wireless charging though. So that's a little unfortunate being that it's a lariat's expensive truck. But you do have the power folding gear shifter. So that's cool. This one does not have the, I don't know if that was me. I don't think that was me. This one does not have the fold flat work surface. But you open up here, you have a lot of room. There is a light in there. And then over here, 
there's a light in that one too and you also have a lot of room and you have room in there then you have a 12 volt and a home outlet so that's really cool as well looking up top here you do get a tan color or like a grayish headliner because this one is the chrome appearance package not the sport appearance package if it had the sport package it would be a black headliner but you do get all leds for the interior lighting there's your uh, rear window control you get glasses holder since this one is a 501a you do get the garage door home link you also get illuminated vanity mirrors so that's really nice auto dimming rear view mirror and it has a lot of safety tech as well you can see there that's for your adaptive cruise control this is for your lane keep assist and also has like lane centering traffic sign recognition all kinds of good stuff and i'll quickly show you guys a few things in this gauge cluster so we can go to um we can go to my view right here which is what we were on we can go to the last screen and then you can configure the screens you want in there so maybe we can put in let's see if there's anything relating to the hybrid in here uh power or, or ev coach we'll try that we'll see what that's all about so we'll look at that screen. There we go. So we'll drive around with that one on because I'll be interested to see how that works. But that's about it for the front up here. Now let's go ahead and check out the back seat. All right, guys, looking at the back seat, you have the same nice soft touch material back here. You have the same nice finish, a cup holder, Bang Olsen speaker system, really nice, soft, comfortable leather seats, armrest. You also get a 12 volt up there, two USBs and a house power outlet. Also air vents, so that's really cool as well. This one does not have heated seats in the back because you have to get a 502A to get that. All right, folks, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and take this truck for a spin. I've only driven these once and it was in the video I did on the XL work truck. So I'm still fairly new to these hybrids, or at least the PowerBoost F-150. Very smooth so far, of course. 3.5 is a very smooth engine. The ride is actually really good on these new trucks. Like it doesn't feel like you're in a pickup truck because it rides so smooth. One thing I wanted to mention is that the brakes do feel a little bit different because they have the regenerative braking. I'm surprised I actually was able to say that correctly. But let's, but yeah, it's like when you're driving normally, it feels just like a normal 3.5 to be honest. But let's go ahead and put it in sport mode here on our drive mode selection. There we go. I always go the wrong way. Okay, here we go, sport mode. There we go. Make sure the coast is clear. And let's just do a little one. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. That is crazy with the electric powertrain, it just takes off from the line. It's like instant. Wow, that is Oh my gosh, this truck is fast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, I'm really curious to see what this truck gets zero to 60 in quarter mile because this is, at least it feels really fast. Okay, go in here. It's very easy to maneuver these around parking lots. It seems like it's a really big truck, but in my experience, the F-150s are the easiest to drive around. Like, they just feel the most car like if that makes sense like my dad has a ram 1500 and it doesn't feel as easy to maneuver and drive around as this like it feels bulky and heavy and it just doesn't feel as nice stuff when 50s do there is a little bit of stuff rolling around the glove box that's kind of annoying but we'll just not worry about that here's a little bump very smooth suspension not bad at all Alrighty guys, we're turning back onto the street again. Oh, need to get some gas later. Alright, turning the corner. Dip into some throttle here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this truck is fast. <laughs> it's so instant, it just takes off. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't want to rev it too high, it's still new. Oh my God, that is, it pulls hard. <laughs> you guys need to test out the power boost if you haven't. Oh my gosh, this is fast. It is crazy. I know you guys might think I'm making this up, but it's my honest reaction. And I'm, I'm used to, you know, some pretty fast cars, you know, Mustang GTs and stuff. But let's just come from a stop here. 
Oh my god, yeah, the, coming from the stop is crazy. It's just instant. That combined with the powerful 3.5, it really makes for a good package. And I'm sure this would be a great towing engine too. Since it, you already have a great 3.5 for towing, and then you can have the power boost for better gas mileage and to assist with the towing. Especially when taking out, because I tell you, this thing takes off from a standstill. Okay, I don't want to get any, I don't want to do anything crazy, but let's just take off from a standstill again. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Combined with the four auto, because I'm sure if I was in too high, it would just, trash control would be kitten, kicking in and it wouldn't be giving me the full power, but four wheel drive, you don't burn out. And man, this thing takes off. I was definitely impressed with the power boost because last time the XL was a two wheel drive truck, so I couldn't experience like the acceleration as well since I didn't have traction. But man, this thing is quick. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more content. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like. Link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And guys, if you don't know, I'm doing a new uh, like rating system after I get done with the trucks. Give it a, uh, a score from 1 to 10 on how good I like the truck, 10 being the best. This one, honestly, is a 9.5. Like, I, I honestly think this truck is really, really good. So, for being a truck, 9.5 out of 10, in my honest opinion.